What is up, Slim Shiny Graphics here, here to bring you back another video. And I wanted to let you guys know before the video starts the tutorial itself, I just wanted to let you guys know that I did not get to upload yesterday because I was changing up a lot of things on my channel. And what I wanted to tell you guys is that I wanted to change my channel into something that I really like to do, which is graphic designing. And I helped so many uh, YouTubers out with graphic designing and Basically, a lot of people were just telling me try to make, uh, try to make your passion and use that towards uh, YouTube as well. So that's basically what I'm, uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to be doing tutorials on a lot of things involving graphics. I'm going to show a lot of things that, um, you know, a lot of graphics I make for people. I'm going to show, you know, ba a lot of stuff revolving around graphic design, basically. And I'm thinking about trying to make a Fiverr account uh, and have templates up or you know have a custom one up for people that want to have their you know have for people that want to have um, graphics on their channel for cheap and that's basically what I want to try to do for everybody and of course I'll be doing uh, some free ones for some people such as giveaways and everything uh, so I'll be doing some free ones along with if you want to just get yours I can do one for you for maybe like five dollars so you maybe like for an intro an ultra uh, channel logo and a channel banner like I you know I'm still thinking about um, having a shop up for uh, cheap graphic designing for uh, people and of course I'll be doing it uh, for youtubers as well like I'll be I really want to try to do this because it's something that I really enjoy and something that I really want to try to do and pursue and uh, big thanks to the people that uh, did recommend it to me you guys are really amazing and uh, helped me out a lot uh, so anyways though, I hope you guys definitely do like this change around to the channel I'm gonna be not doing as much gameplay anymore The only time I'll be doing gameplays is when I do live streams So I'll be changing up my schedule on my website very soon. But anyways, I hope you guys definitely do enjoy the video This is a pretty simple tutorial, but pretty long just to explain a lot to you guys so you guys can understand how to do this So anyways, let us get right to the video Actually, it'll be like a couple seconds, but I'll see you guys when we get there <laughs> What's boppin' B? Slim Shaney Graphics here. Uh, I know it's a little bit different to say now because it's a little bit changed up, you know what I mean? Uh, but anyways though, what we're going to be doing in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to live stream off of using Google Hangouts or basically live streaming off your Google Chromebook. Uh, this works for many other systems too. Um, as long as you have Google Chrome installed, I believe. I think you just need Google Chrome installed. And I believe that most people are going to need a webcam i'm not too sure uh, if you do not have one i don't think it's going to be any big deal um but just for precaution i would get a webcam uh for google hangouts anyway just you know it's really great i really like it it's kind of like a in my vision uh in my opinion i like it a little better than skype but that's an opinion right there so anyways let's just get right into this right here so the first thing that we're going to do is just scroll off to the video manager uh right here and when we click on to the video manager, it'll bring us to our videos that we have uploaded. But we're not going to go here. We don't want to be here. Uh, so what we're going to do to actually go off and live stream off of your system, you're going to have to click on right here. Click on the live streaming. Click on events. And then as we can see right here, I actually was doing a little bit of a test before. I don't really care about it right now, so I'm just going to delete it right here. Alright, there we go. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be clicking on a new live event. Now, when we're right here, uh, you guys are going to be doing everything that you need to for when starting out a stream. So, let's just do a random stream. So, let's say uh, if you want to do a gameplay, we'll just do Call of Duty. You know what I mean? Just simple. Uh, we'll just put Call of... Actually, wait, now. You're doing Google Hangouts, so it's going to be different if you're doing this on a Chromebook. So uh, let's say if you want to play a Flash game and you want to show off live gameplay of that. So uh, let's do Balloons Tower Defense, I guess. <laughs> so we'll do Balloons Tower Defense uh, live stream. We'll put five because people like the fifth one, of course. Who doesn't like the fifth one? Uh, so now that we have this, 
of course uh we're gonna keep this as it is just keep it exactly as it is uh if for your description put whatever you want in your description you know what i mean i usually put my own stuff in there for links and uh for everything else on my social media so put whatever you want in there so and then over here you're just going to put your regular tags in there so we're just going to do balloons tower like you know balloons and then we'll put balloons you know what i mean and then just so on and so on you know what i mean so after you have that done you can go to your advanced settings you can check everything out that you need to right here I would not recommend, I would recommend putting everything on the original settings that it has here. Um, enable the live chat, that's up to you. I would highly, you know, of course I would keep that in there. Uh, leave your, leave embedding in, uh, promote your channel, make sure this is all good right here. Uh, you can allow the comments if you want. And if you want to, you actually can enable DVR, which will basically save up the live stream if you want to save it. And uh, if you want to have um, low la latency for your streaming, you can definitely do that as well for the, like what I said, for real-time interaction, but there will be the playback buffering uh, involved. And then you can add a delay if you want to, uh, if you really want to do so. And then since you're doing a game, we're just going to do... Looks like five isn't coming up, but uh, let's say, let's type five and then of course our video language english because that's how we all go uh for content uh declaration uh if it you know if you're doing a live stream that includes paid promotion boom there you go just tap on this and you're good to go uh and then once you have all this good to go you can do your monetization if you're wanting to make ads off your videos or off of your live stream you can do that and then once you have this all set up and you're good to go you can just type in your message to you know your google plus and twitter uh i'm gonna put this on to private because for the tutorial um so this is actually important right here if it's on custom click on quick so now click go live now and then i'm gonna click on it again it'll take a couple seconds uh, but after a little bit, uh, you'll see Google, you'll see this little, you know, you'll see this pop out right here about Google Hangouts. You're going to click OK. And then we're going to, we're going to go full face cam right here. So now you can see me right here. Uh, that is, oh, there we go. So now you actually can see me right here uh, talking to you guys right now. So right now it's just uh, loading in everything. As you can see on the bottom of the screen, it's going 22, 23. It's basically loading up right now. So as it's loading up, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to actually add in overlays right here onto your live stream. So how you actually add in this? Let me take off the face cam right now. There we go. <laughs> Just I like this a lot better. <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do to actually add in all the cool stuff, uh, stuff to the screen that we want to. Uh, you actually can check out all the settings right here. We'll go through them a couple seconds right here. So as you can see for the cameraman settings, there's a few things right here if you want to check it out, uh, which are for in case other people want to join in on the convo with you. Uh, on the control room, uh, this is where you can turn off uh, everything pretty quickly and change your volume. I literally wouldn't use the control room because you have all your settings right up here. So... But the thing that we really want is to add an uh, extension called Hangout Toolbox. And now we're going to, that's installing right now. After that installs, oh, dang, that was quick. So here we are right here. So there's two things that you can do with this uh, overlay that you really want to do. So uh, I'm going to show you guys a few things real quick before we go on to the overlays. Uh, for the pre uh, presets right here, uh, you can have some you know, it's a little bit of a work in progress, but there's like presets that you can do with uh, a few things of, but that's up to you if you want to look into that at all. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, here you can change the volume, but of course you always can go to the control room for that if you really want to. Uh, here are the about, sec you know, about section if you want to check out everything on it. And then for the settings, you can check uh, mute notifications, enable auto load and load last lower third i would uh mute the notification sounds i would always do that i would highly highly recommend that 
Uh, so if you actually change this right here, so we see mine some shiny graphics tagline, let's just say uh, graphic designer for graphic designer for YouTube. We're going to choose a color. We're going to go with just blue. And then uh, if we go back to the face cam, uh, it should load up during the stream when we click on that right there. Now, in order to change it up from how it is reversed right now, we click on mirror your video. And then boom, there we go. As you can see, you can see my, oh, let me, I gotta like turn my hand around, turn it this way. You see my logo? Boom, there we go. You can see my logo right there with my name and the little bit of the tagline. Uh, if you guys really want to add that or you can make your own photo and make it transparent and use it as a custom overlay if you want to do that. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I'm going to go back like this because this is what it's going to be like when you first open up Hangout Toolbox, uh, the extension. So we're going to turn this off and we're going to add my custom overlay. Once this wants to load up. All right, so now that we are on here, as you can see, this is a lot of my YouTube stuff that I have right here. We're going to go to, we're going to click on this and we're going to click on, and we're going to go to my overlay. So as you can see, I have my overlay, live stream overlay, and then my live stream overlay OP, <laughs> overpowered overlay. <laughs> so we're going to click on that on my uh, overlay, and then we're going to enable it. So as you can see, you upload the overlay and then you enable it. So as you can see, here it is right now. Uh, how we actually fix this is the same way with the lower third by clicking on mirror your video. And as you can see, everything's fine. Everything looks cool now. Uh, so if you want to talk like this and you have a little bit of an overlay, you know, like this right here. Um, if you guys want to actually edit your own overlay and make an overlay like this, go check out my website. I'll have, uh, of course, it's always in the link in the description. It'll be on the make YouTube graphics free kind of thing. So you always can go check that out and you can see where you can actually make these overlays and download, you know, templates I have up for everybody to try out. So that's how you basically do it. It's very easy. I'm going to show you guys how to actually uh, show your screen now. Uh, if you want to show, you know, if you want to show that off. So we're going to click on the entire screen all right so as you can see here's the whole it's basically forecasting the whole entire screen now which is pretty nutty uh if you actually want to start up the stream you just click start broadcast down here and then your whole stream started like it's already started up and you can do whatever and then you can con you know talk to everybody uh and then let me click present to everyone there we go as you can see, it's a little nutty look, <laughs> but if you want to, you can small on this right here, go to the side, and then you can have uh, the comments right uh, right over here on the right side. If you want to, while having the game to the left side right here, that's if you guys really want to do that. Uh, I would prefer that if you guys want to try it out. It's really cool. I uh, really like that a lot about Google Hangouts is that it's very, um, you actually have a lot of leniency to where you can do a lot of things with it as well. So I, I like it a lot. Uh, but that's basically how you do it. You know, it's it's simple as that, you know, you can uh, literally do these things, you know, you can literally make a live stream pretty easily on your Chromebook and just show off a cool game that you got or anything like that. I'm going to be using this for a lot of my live streams just to chat with you guys and show off some cool things that I found and maybe do some graphic design while talking to you guys, something like that. So anyways, I hope this tutorial helped you guys out a lot. Hopefully it was pretty informational and you guys learned a lot from it. So anyways, have a great one, guys, and this is Slim Shaney Graphics, out, so peace.